Well, he is someone from prehistory. Yes, little kitty. So in today's episode, let us go back in time before history and learn about the era of prehistory. Zoom in. So, what is prehistory? This word comes from the ancient Greek word pre, which means before, and historia, which translates to history. And as history refers to the period after the invention of written records in a given culture or society, it means we can define prehistory as the era or events that occurred before the development of the earliest writing systems. Unfortunately, due to no written records for us to study, very little is known about prehistoric people. So, we have to rely on archaeology studies of things like tools, bones, buildings and cave drawings to learn about it. And based on the findings until now, the prehistoric timeline is generally divided into three major periods, namely the Stone Age or Paleolithic, the Agricultural Revolution or the Neolithic, and the Metal Age, which consisted of the Bronze and Iron Age. The Stone Age began nearly 2.6 million years ago with the rise of the first humans living a nomadic life. This means that they never settled in one place and kept migrating from one place to another, especially for hunting. And for this purpose, they started using stones to make tools like clubs, axes, knives, etc. And for the same reason, we call it a Stone Age. And it is in the Stone Age that the Homo erectus is known to discover fire. This allowed us to cook up food, which may be the main factor behind the development of our brains that made us smarter and allowed us to enter the next stage, the Neolithic period, which started around 12,000 years ago. The Neolithic period, also called New Stone Age, was an era of technological and social developments which established most of the basic elements of historical cultures such as the domestication of animals, the appearance of crops such as pottery and weaving, and early chiefdoms which are habitats ruled by a chief. But more importantly, during the Neolithic period, humans learned farming and grew crops including maize, wheat and barley. This led to the construction of small villages where Homo sapiens, probably the only left human species by then, began to settle permanently in circular houses made of mud brick. Another important innovation that happened during the Neolithic era was the invention of the wheel. This drove the development further as humans entered the Metal Ages that started approximately 6,000 years ago. The Metal Age is divided into three stages. The Copper Age, the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. During this period, humans learned to heat the metals at extreme temperatures and transform them into various tools like weapons, vessels and even decorative items through a process called metallurgy. As metallurgy was a highly skilled task only known to a few, other people began to swap agricultural products in exchange for metallic goods, 
giving rise to the barter system which eventually started trade. Trading then helped small villages to grow in size, turning them into larger cities and allowing cultural and commercial exchange between them with the development of various new transport systems such as sailboats and wagons. Although it gave birth to social classes such as rich and poor, human lives became better in general during the Metal Age, which ended with the invention of the writing system almost 5,500 years ago. Trivia time! Did you know that there were four different types of humans in the Stone Age? Yes, namely two makers called Homo habilis, the fire makers called Homo erectus, the Neanderthals called Homo neanderthalensis, and the modern humans known as Homo sapiens. That's us. Hope you learned something historic today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind.